Now to what will be welcome news for many. Proposed changes in the Detroit Water and Sewerage District could help people pay their water bills. The proposal would increase the maximum amount someone can make before getting assistance. And as Nick Monticelli reports, that means a lot of people using Detroit Water could get some financial help. Good evening. Within the Detroit Water and Sewerage District, they say there are approximately 23,000 shutoffs. This change could affect everybody if they ask for the help. And mind you, Detroit isn't just about Detroit. They serve as areas including Pontiac and Flint. Have you ever had problems with your water bill paying that on time? <laughs> yes. Yes, very much. It does not take long to find someone in the city of Detroit that's had a hard time paying their water bill, but that could change in the very near future. In a committee meeting yesterday, the director of the Detroit Water and Sewerage District outlined a new plan that puts more money into a financial assistance pot. And then they want to raise the threshold from 150 to 200 percent of the poverty line, meaning someone now earning $50,000 or less could be eligible. That means a grandmother with three grandkids uh, currently under 150 percent poverty can't make more than thirty four thousand dollars. So if she made thirty five, she would not be eligible. This will change the economics of those numbers to her making fifty thousand. So a family of four at fifty thousand will now be eligible. All of this is part of the water residential assistance program, which also can help pay for plumbing fixes, which is currently capped at $1,000. The new proposal is 1500. This isn't just about giving uh, out some additional welfare or giving out money uh, for to pay the bill. This is about going in fixing the plumbing issues. And because the DWSD supplies water to dozens of communities outside of Detroit, the help would go to those customers too. That's going to allow cities like Flint and Pontiac and a lot of cities in Wayne County outside the city of Detroit to be able to qualify and use those dollars. In Detroit, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. And we're told if all of the changes are approved, they would go into effect in July.